Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are comparing two blushes. Again, I feel like I'm on a roll with the blush comparisons because I feel like a lot of good ones are coming out this year. So I just keep getting more to try out and compare. So today we're comparing one of my all-time favorites, Gucci. It's the Blush Debut in Bright Coral versus the new Dior Rouge Blush in rose montane shimmer so i felt like these two had some similarities to them they're both higher end blushes and they're both really good so i really wanted to see how they compared to each other and to let you know which one i think is more worth your money because like i said neither one of these is cheap for sure so we're gonna see which one is more worth it before we get started, please give this a big thumbs up if you haven't already, and please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. The button is right down there. Please make sure to subscribe so that you're not missing out on three videos a week. Every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, join the family. Thank you so much if you do, but if you want to see me compare these two blushes, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys. Like I said, we're comparing Dior and blush blush Dior and Gucci blushes both high-end both a little on the pricey side and we're gonna see which one is more worth it so as usual I'm just gonna read the details on both of these and then we're gonna try one on one side one on the other side and see which one's more worth it so the first one I have pulled up is Dior it's the rouge blush and I have mine in the shade 219 rose montane which is the iconic Dior pink but I will say in my opinion this one has a little bit of like a peachiness to it and it has like a little shimmeriness to it so the highlights say pressed powder formula and long wearing and then it says the iconic powder blush that gives a glowing look with a second skin feel now comes in a 90% natural origin formula and four finishes Available in matte and satin finishes, this blush brings a year-round glow to a wide range of complexions while keeping skin hydrated for all-day comfort. The long-wearing ultra-pigmented formula delivers buildable couture color for subtle to intense makeup looks. And then Gucci, it's the Luminous Matte Beauty Blush. So this one, or wait, I didn't even tell you how much the other one costs. It's $45, so it's definitely up there. The Gucci one is $49, so Gucci is even more pricey. By a little bit compared to Dior, it's like $45 versus $49. I forgot to also mention the Dior one has 6.7 grams or 0.23 ounces in it. So Gucci is $49 and it has how much? 0.19 ounces or point or 5.5 grams so the Dior blush has a little more product inside of it and then I have the Gucci blush in the shade 4 bright coral so this one says pressed powder formula long wearing community favorite hyaluronic acid hydrating matte finish it says a buildable blush for cheeks and eyes with a hydrating ultra thin powder this formula of powders and pigments is infused with emollient waxes to deliver buildable, long-lasting color that intensifies seamlessly. The powder cares for all skin types with an infusion of shea butter, hyaluronic acid, and black rose oil, blending easily for a second skin feel. I feel like there's like a pattern between the two with like the second skin feel and look, the long wearing aspect of it. And I will say, as much as the Gucci one says it's like a matte blush, I feel like it does have a little luminosity to it, but in such a good way. Like, it's really, really beautiful. The Dior one looks a lot bigger just looking at it like this versus Gucci, but I have to say I prefer the Gucci packaging. It just looks so freaking cute with like the pink on gold and the little stars. Like, it is so adorable. This one looks very high-end and luxurious, but it's just a lot more like simple. It doesn't stand out as much. I feel like this one looks like it's expensive from the outside. So I prefer Gucci on that aspect, but obviously that's like the least important part of all of this. So let me open these up so you could see. 
The Dior one does come with a little brush, so you get an extra added little feature there. The Gucci one does not come with anything, it's just the blush itself. But you could see just how similar they are in color when you put them right next to each other like that. Like, I feel like they look very, very similar. So let me like swatch on the back of my hand for you guys. They both have mirrors, both mirrors are good, but I do like the Dior one better. It just seems like a little better quality and it's way bigger. So let me like dip into this. The Dior one feels softer when you dip your fingers into it. That I did notice right away. Here they are next to each other. So Gucci is a little bit more corally peach and Dior is a little more pinkish. I don't know which one I like more, honestly, because I feel like even the D even though the Dior one is like more pink, it's not like a bright pink. Like it's like a muted kind of warmer pink, which I like. This one obviously is more warm toned and like more peachy, but I really, really like both of them. And they both look like they have the same like finish to them when you look at them just on the back of my hand, but we'll see on the face. I have a blush brush I'm gonna apply both with. Maybe I'll take a beauty wipe and just clean it a little bit in between uses so that my brush is not contaminated. So I just wiped off a little product on there. So I'm gonna do Dior on my left, Gucci on my right, and we're gonna see what happens. This is the last step to my makeup look. I have every other product on my face already, just waiting for some blush. So I'm gonna apply one on one side, one on the other side, and then we're gonna talk details. So let's get started. Okay guys, I just finished applying both. So here is the Gucci blush on my right side. And here is the Dior blush on my left side. So take a good look at both. And I'm gonna give you guys like five seconds right now to just comment and let me know which one you think looks better just comparing them side by side here. So take five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I hope you guys commented to tell me because now I'm gonna get into it. I am actually very surprised to say that I like the Dior side better, which honestly shocked me because I feel like every single other blush that I've compared to the Gucci one, Gucci has one for me because it is just so beautiful and it does something to my skin that really nothing else can even compare to so i was really really shocked as i was applying both because i was like wait a minute like am i really really liking this side better and i do like i feel like everything the gucci blush does for me the dior side did but like on steroids if that makes sense and it really is like both of them are giving me such like like that second skin finish. Like they just look so airbrushed and flawless on my face. It looks like my cheeks are just flushed on both sides. Like I am just, I'm in love with both. Like obviously this is not an easy decision because they both look amazing and you cannot go wrong no matter what you choose. But one major thing that I did notice was with the Dior side, I felt like, first of all, it was quicker to apply. Like I felt like, as I was like gliding it across my cheek with the brush, like it just went on so smooth and so quick and it took me like no effort pretty much to blend it in. With the Gucci side, obviously it was like a similar situation, but I did feel like I had to spend a little more time and like put a little more effort into blending it onto my cheek and making it look perfect. Like the Dior side just like, immediately went on so flawlessly and like melted into the other products on my face that I really did not have to mess with it much at all. So I was super, super happy with that. The other thing I really, really love about the Dior side is the fact that it does have 
a little bit of like a luminosity to it a little bit more than the Gucci side does like and I know the Gucci one says it's matte but I've always felt like it had a little bit of a luminosity to it and that's why I loved it so much like it was so soft where like it looks matte but it doesn't look matte do you know what I mean and I feel like I have a similar situation going on with the Dior side but it just looks a little bit more glowy in like the best way like I feel like it's really really just bringing out my cheekbones like I really really love how this is making me look and I surprisingly like the color of the Dior one better like I feel like I don't know let me know what you guys think but I just feel like this kind of a pinky shade right now at least is like suiting me a little bit better than the Gucci one not to say I don't like the Gucci one because I love it and I'm still gonna use it probably non-stop like crazy but I'm just really really preferring what the Dior one is doing for me right now pores wise they're both doing the same thing not accentuating but not hiding anything I just I really really love what both are doing but if I have to choose one I cannot believe it but it's gonna be the Dior it just checks every single box same way the Gucci one does but like I said like on steroids like it's everything that this one's giving and then some and you get a little brush with it and the brush is actually really really good which I usually don't think but it is really good and it applies the product really nice so I'm gonna say if you have to choose one go with the Dior because it just looks flawless on your skin the color is amazing it gives you that extra little glow it melts right into everything you get more product you get a little brush included in it you get a really really good quality mirror I just feel like this really has it all packaging wise this one still wins but this one really does have everything you need and it's like four bucks less so Dior is the winner but that's it for today so I hope you guys enjoyed I definitely did this was a fun one and I'm shocked at the outcome so let me know what you guys think comment and let me know which one was your winner and why let me know what other videos you guys want from me give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video